right, we're here back for another week of uh, our weekly updates of the builds up here at Black Bear Crossing. And this one is finishing up very nice. We're up at the top at the Harbor Island where we usually start. And we got the garage door on. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Great day, another Friday. Beautiful out. What yeah. is it, about 80, 75 degrees right now? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. It's been beautiful in the mornings. Yeah. These are good. This is a good time of the year for us Floridians. Yep. Yep. Now through about March. Yeah. I talked know. to my son last week and it was 40, no, it was 35 degrees. Goodness gracious. Yeah. We well, see they got snow in Montana. You got some Chicago last week. It's just horrible. Poor guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got sunshine, no snow. Yep. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> and sand under our feet. So, well, this is, this is looking really good. And we got it, got some grading. Looks like we got a little more grading done over here. Yeah, I think the inside is done. We're we're ready now to begin our inspections. Um, the I garage think, door looks great. Yeah, I, like I love that. that door. I tell you what, it, it allows a good amount of light. Mm -hmm. I was in there the day before yesterday, and I really, I just like the whole effect. The look is the main thing we yeah. go for, of course. But, it's, it is sharp. Um, but yeah, we're at to the point now where the inside is, I think Al has, all of the miscellaneous duns, you know, door hardware, mm -hmm. cabinet hardware, uh, just the, oh, toilet accessories, etc. All the yep. little miscellaneous things that takes two or three yep. days. He got it done this week. I see he's got all the soffits done. Soffits done. Got the corbels put in yep. the day before yesterday. And it's amazing if you plan things out well enough, the lights hit right in the middle of the yeah. corbels where, uh, you know, like I said, you plan it out, it's kind of like it all gets glued it's, together at the end. At night, I, I know from uh, from my client's house, it looks gorgeous Yeah. when you turn those lights on at night. I need to take some pictures for you. I need to come by here after hours. Well, or say, for, well, yeah, this one's a little bit different. Uh, 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 West Graves, mm -hmm. we didn't do the in soffit lighting. We did the coach lights, which I, I don't really like to do coach lights anymore. Mm -hmm. We did it because Cody wanted to do it and, they, and it looks good, but uh -huh. I love the in soffit lighting. And so we'll take some, some nighttime pictures yep. and get some pictures because it, it really looks fantastic and it's nice and bright. Yeah, yeah, I I like it. I like when they do it, when you do that. Let me grab a key here. Oh, he opened it for us. Oh, good deal. Yep. Yeah, so we're, yeah, middle of the week, I will be over here grading, um, grading things out, do a drive cut. We'll probably get yep. the drive poured either the end of this upcoming week, yep. say a week from today, or the following Monday, Tuesday. So we're seven to 10 days away from driveway. driveway. Uh, two days after that, sod goes in. So let's say two weeks from today, sod mm -hmm. goes in. I'll probably go ahead and order it because sod's, for some reason, he's had trouble getting it. Uh, probably just because of the, the industry so darn busy. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, in fact, I don't think we put, we didn't put this one on the MLS yet. Okay. So it's time. It's time. Yep. Ah. Look at this. You come in, you can turn on some lights. Uh -huh. Oh, it's always fun figuring out the light switches. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is all our ceiling fans are in. Good. I like these doors. Me too. I, 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 the, I, the more you see them, the six panels are just. They're old. Yeah. Yeah. They, they feel old. You know, these, I, I, to me, these are very classic, you know? Yeah. They're simple, but they do look. They look nice. Yeah, they look nice. Hey, Don, we need to get the shelving in over here at 772 Liskard. Um, I need to get that in pretty much right away. Also, how are you doing on getting the shower enclosure installed? On this one, we'll do a shower enclosure. I don't think you've seen Listard no. since we did the shower enclosure. Uh, we're doing the shower enclosure on the on this one in the end, doing okay. it on the harbor. Uh, mostly glass, a little bit of black on the frame, but not much frame. No. It'll look good. It'll go with. With everything trim. in here, yeah. yeah. I really, I, I, I like the black accents. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it, it, it's different. It's, like you said, you know, you, that 
a lot of people use the brush nickel, and it's one of those, again, it just, yeah. continually using the same thing, it just it, it gets to feel old yeah. after we've, a while. We've, yeah, we've done that for a long time, and I still like it, but this is a nice change up. Ah, there we go. Ooh, I don't think we had the crown on last time. Nope, oh, that's right, yeah. Good. I like the black knobs. Man, it just, it all goes together. Every little well. bit helps a little, doesn't it? Yeah. On, on this color of, on this decor, every little bit adds adds to it. Yeah, oh, there yep. we go. I didn't know if we had these on or not. Yep. We're still hot. Tell you what, the industry is busy. We're having trouble getting some of the fixtures, yep. some of the materials. It's, it's, it's kind of like COVID all over again. It's not that bad, Yep. but it's busy. Got our drawers. Yep. Oh, and we did add. Oh, uh, yeah. I've, to not the uh, the third one. I think the third one. I'll yep. have to take a look. Yeah. Uh, to see how it looks, and we might make that a constant. Yeah, I'm curious to see how that. I, I love. I like the crown. It finishes everything. Yeah. Oh. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So just having the flat along the top. Oh yeah, makes a huge difference. Little things. Yeah. Little it, things. It, it, it's. It's all the little details that that make a difference. Oh, and then our uh, last little bedroom. Yep, yep. And again, you know, I mentioned it last week, but you gotta mention it again, is how quiet this house is. Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely peaceful. And same thing on Graves, same type of house. We did the chlorophyll. When you're standing inside, you see cars go by, but you don't hear it. And yep. that's only 26 feet off of the uh, off the road, right? right? 26 feet. That's yep. a car length, uh, two car lengths nowadays. But so what I'm getting at, yeah, all that stuff matters. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. We have such a good painter. I tell you, the lines. Yeah, he just. I my hand is not that steady. <laughs> Me either. Not at all. Yeah, we've got to get him over here to finish. He'll do the paint. He'll do paint well, on right there, the, the paint cement. on the yep. garage. Uh, we got to get Al to. Now, are you going to put a screen no. enclosure? No, I thought about it, and it's uh, he's wants like nine hundred fifty dollars. Does he? Wow. For for that one wall. Wow. That's what I went and I was like, yeah. that used to be two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. So I told him I said it's just it's, it's not that's not going to be a give me if somebody negotiates it in, maybe we mm -hmm. do, but that's not gonna be a give me. I need to, when I go over there and talk to Al, I need to get all this cleaned up this yep. week, all the way down. Yep. Get everything all the way down and get get ready to, to show. So our last room in here. Yep. We're just, yeah, everything looks like most of the pictures. We got one picture got to replace. So you're gonna put a, Put a glass enclosure here as well? Uh, not on that one, this one, yeah. This one, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like the shower. I like the large tile. Yeah, everything's looking really good. Yeah, Cody and I talked about all this stuff the other day, so we've kind of got to, I got to get. Start putting together a punch list? Yeah, yeah, I'll get a handle on what's happening on some of this stuff. But yeah, it looks good. We're, I tell you, we're, we're actually, I mean, we could even show it like this. I don't want to show it with a hole in the wall. Yeah. Yep. But it's getting ready. Yeah. And that's, I like that you do that. Cause you, you've seen some of these open concept homes that they don't put any outlets mm. in. And then you end up with cords all over the house. Right. Yeah. I'm still working on location to make sure. I think the location is fine. Mm -hmm. But again, this kind of depends on who moves in. Yeah, what furniture they have. And then I like that you've got you've got an outlet on the end of the end of the island as well. I like, I like that quartz. It really blunt everything goes very nicely here. It really does. Oh let's peek in the garage. I want to see how that light comes through on that garage door. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh it does give you good light. Isn't that yeah, yeah. Oh, we need this put in too, yeah. Yep, all right. Battery, ba the battery backup garage door opener. Really, it's just a few, few items. You know, it's some landscaping. In. This stuff's been this way for two weeks, so I'm beginning to get a little bit miffed over it, but oh well, it'll be okay. I'll get done. Yeah. All right, well, let's head down to our next one. Crank off some lights. 
Ready? Yep. Oh, lights. Uh, I want to leave them on. Are you going to leave them on? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like to leave it on. Then I can drive by the drive early by the evening. evening. Yeah, I don't have to get out. Yeah, it's kind of a showcase at this point in time. It's time to start leaving them on. Yeah, let people drive by at night. That is sure. Yeah, Cody needs to get a for sale sign out front, out front here too. We got uh, got a 1790. Still, the septic is still not done, but we got a contract on it. We had to negotiate on that one a little bit harder than I wanted to. But uh, DPE has quite a few houses. Yeah, yeah, they do. They so got a lot of them out there right now. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to pull out of there entirely or just might go back to the three bedroom and just cheapen the house up a little bit yeah and just try to do two or three a month i know i've been watching it over there and they've just their price points lower over there yeah so. it is yeah it's went it's lower and there's houses there's extra houses there that are not selling so yep. again so, we're pretty fortunate because ours sell but still want to no. keep that keep it keep it profitable yep yep so they they completed the septic here this is one thing that i think is probably one of the best things i've seen in a while it sounds stupid but actually having a separate place to pump out your septic yeah for the longest time with the older houses you've got to figure out where the septic field is i was at one over on new york yesterday actually older house and trying to figure out where the septic is, is right in the house. well people don't take care of things they don't walk out and they don't cut and put a little bit yep. of a bag of gravel around something, you know yeah, something. something people are are just inherently lazy and a simple thing like that just so you can have the septic guys when it needs it every three four years come in yeah pump it clean it out yeah because yeah it'll need a little something now and then but yeah so the septic septic's in i will be here early to midweek do the grade work on these first two or three and then do the drive cut so probably probably not two weeks not quite two weeks we'll have you know week and a half we'll have the probably probably the monday 10 days from the day we'll mm -hmm. have the drives poured by the end of that week if we can get sod we'll have sod in so two weeks from today i think these first two ready will be go. show ready show ready yeah 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 and this will be gone graded out we're going to put down a a wealth of sod, sod it closer, and then whatever type of wood chips we're gonna do around that, you know, just the detail. We're also, yep. uh, I gotta go out, I'm looking at palm trees. I wanna mm -hmm. put like four palm trees in between each house. Okay. And maybe a couple of miscellaneous, yep. smaller. Yep. I wanna do a little something to match. The, the rendering. The rendering, yeah. yeah done. Yeah, and the rendering shows big, beautiful, yeah. expensive <laughs> palm trees. We'll probably yeah. put medium, <laughs> good looking, you know, we'll, we'll yeah, scale Yeah, the palm it. trees on the rendering, uh, would they be about two grand a piece or more? Probably, yeah, they're nice, beautiful. I think there's there's Canary Island palms, which are expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I won't spend two grand per area, not per grand per tree. <laughs> per tree. Yeah, <laughs> but that is, that's probably my budget, probably two grand per area. Which, which will get a lot. Yep. I mean, that'll get us four nice uh, 15 nice foot, 14, 15 foot tall palms, uh, either Sylvester or Washingtonian or something like mm -hmm. that. It'll be a good looking native palm, some low brush, yep. some low growth, and then some, some mulch to match. So each one of those will have something like that in between it. Gotcha. It's, it's gonna really finish off like the rendering. Yep. Pretty pretty similar to the rendering, that yep. is. Okay. Now, both of you and I commented on this this morning. What are those called? They're th big old, big, <laughs> big old <laughs> fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the crown. That's more like a monster crown. Yeah. Uh, it's overdone a bit. You think? Yeah, I think just a bit, yeah. <laughs> We bet. We I bet. love the corbels. The corbels yeah, are corbels the same size good. that we always do, and yeah. the same spacing and the lights. Again, we plan it out there, yeah. but the but the crown is not the correct crown. So we'll take that down. I'll have to spend some time next day or two to go measure the crown that we normally get and send uh -huh. them a picture. The people that do that are not very organized. We can't just say, "Hey, send me the same seven, crown," seven crown, because it's just like it's like, every day's a new day to them. That's just like. They send us something, they go like, oh, 
<laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you, yeah, it's like, well, you said. Anyway, yeah, it is. It's a little bit, let's, it's a little <coughs> bit overdone. Looks like a big old boat. I was, I was thinking of bathroom sink. Yeah, it's a big old, <laughs> it's a big old tub thing. Some people might like it, but I think it's a bit too much. We'll, we'll take that off and put smaller yeah. and it'll look fantastic. It's just funny sometimes, you know. Oh, yeah, things happen. I mean, yeah, things happen. <laughs> Believe me, yeah, I have so much going on in my life. If I, if I didn't, I'd be shooting somebody or myself. <laughs> Preferably someone else, but anyway. Oh, all right. So he's starting to put the hardware on in here as well. Yep, say hardware, looks like cabinet hardware is, yep. looks like he's done on and completed, I think. Does they put in all the lights for you too? Or does the electrician come the back? Electrician, here? yeah. So we got to get the, we've got that scheduled and I don't remember the exact dates. We scheduled that last Monday or Tuesday when we were here, um, but that's coming, I think this upcoming week. Okay. So all that will be happening. The electrical should start the AC up. A uh, week from today, I think we'll be largely finished. Yep. Yeah, I, th I think it's all this midweek is when all that stuff's happening. So, and oh, still got some tiling to do in here in the bathroom. Let me, I need to get, let me look at my text to my man there because I'm going to end up having to. Yeah, because I was checking with that. We didn't, no meter on this one yet. So no power yet. Let me see. I need, yeah, I need to. Wow, there's so much. There's, I tell you, again, it's so, these, some of these, the power company is so, you just can't get these guys to, to get their, they can't find their ass with both hands. <laughs> this, and then they, they come out and say they didn't have the didn't inspections. Didn't have something ready. Or... No, they didn't have the inspections and we called Universal and they sent the inspection to the jurisdiction. The jurisdiction says they released the power company, but the power company doesn't have it. Along the way, one of those meatheads dropped the ball, and it happens every time. Mm -hmm. When it comes to getting a meter, it's the most one of the more difficult things Thanks to do because these somebody they just don't do their damn job. Uh, rounded the edges up here too. I like the rounded edges. I like that. Doesn't it makes a big difference? Yeah. Something small. I yeah. Just, I just I do. I just think, I just think it looks. I don't know. It, with this this layout, it just it, it, it fits. Yeah. You know, it, it really does. Yeah. I, I just, I like this house a lot for being a, a 1,408 yeah. square foot living, which is a small house, fairly small. Yeah. Yeah. My w wife was watching some of the videos last night. She goes, how big are those houses? I'm like, well, the one you're looking at right now, it's only a little over 1,400 square feet. She goes, no. I'm like, yeah. Like, but that's your open concept. Yeah. And space utilized well where, you know, I've, I've been in 17, 18 hundred square foot houses that feel smaller than this because yeah. it's- You can't chop them up. That's the, yeah. the less walls you do, the better. The designer originally put a wall right here. Was it here? Yeah, right here, something like this. And of course we took it out because it just, it yeah. stole, it stole space. space. And, and the only thing it stopped was, I think it was, so that people couldn't sit here and see into, see into the, the master. master bedroom. Close the door. There you go. That's kind <laughs> of a, that's kind of a well manage your space a little bit better yeah. type of scenario. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's one of those. Again, they thought they had to have it. We thought you no yeah. way in hell you can put it in. I used to uh, sell radiology equipment. And you'd have the architect lay out a radiology room. And he'd be like, Oh my gosh, no, no, no. That's not. They're gonna kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it's like. We used to joke, okay, you need to make the architect work in what he lays out for like three, four months. And then he'll he'll learn. He'll, yeah. he'll never design it that way again. Yeah. Ever. Well, they they don't there's they don't know what they don't know. I'm gonna have to spend more time with Cody this upcoming week. Oh, we got cabinets in here too. Dual sinks. Yeah. Yeah, you are both of them. A couple weeks, a couple weeks away, and they're ready to go. Hey, you need to get these these back panels in right away. The plumber's gonna be in these houses Monday or Tuesday. Then you're gonna be in bad situation. When are you gonna get these back panels in in these cabinets corrected? The guy so your cabinet butchered cabinet? up. He butchered them up. The opening. Yeah. He didn't have a saw a whole saw the correct size. Okay. So he, squared them up and then measured one of them wrong and 
So he's got them just looking for them. Gotta come back and fix it. Fix it? Yep. Go get you, yeah. Go it's buy the back panels. It. Go buy the back panels that match it, cut it. Go put in a little patch in, cut it full size where people can't even tell it was ever altered. Measure it whole saw. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're yep. gonna pay, they're not paying discount prices, so you're not doing them, give them a damn discount cabinet. Yep. Um, it's new cabinet guy, so he's he's learning. He'll learn the things that matter to us. I think some of the builders might have let that go. I don't yeah. know, and I don't yeah. care. We don't. Don't shortcut it. Right. But today's Friday, so Monday, uh, I'll talk to Cody and make sure we get to spend a good amount of time. I need to, I need to spend it a lot of time out here Monday and start making these phone calls while I'm on the job site mm -hmm. and getting getting some action on some of this. I really like that stone. It looks yeah, so good. That is such a nice feature. I mean, when you sit back and you look at this house, it just, Isn't that, it's yeah. sharp. Well done. Yeah. That 20 great. something years in the making. Now I got a question for you. After seeing that black door up there, how would you think you painted that black? The oh, this door. one is getting painted black. Oh, it is fact. gonna get yeah. painted black. The front oh, door and the, and awesome. I think at the front door too, that she's got different color schemes and either they're both going black or that's going black and that goes in off white maybe on this house. She's got, okay. gotcha. you know, she's created color schemes and when they're done, they look, I mean, she knows what she's doing. It looks yeah. great. That's why I give her the artistic license. She knows what she's doing. So I think that would look with that stone. And I would keep it. I would keep everything. I'd have two or three paint colors and that would be it. <laughs> She's much more artistic and, and, and or not even artistic, but much more creative and yep. in the know. You know, she she does the Winter Park thing, so she sees what people are doing down there. Yep. So she brings that look up here and it helps us. Yeah, I, I think with that stone and that color, up, that black garage door, it's gonna look sharp. That would look really sharp. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I don't, she's given me all the colors and I just don't remember all of them, but I think this one is the black. The, the two I remember most of is that painting the, the black door blue. I think it's all time right. for a real good cleanup. Talk to Al and have him uh, get Valdo and we'll do an yes. end to end. He, oh, he had the big truck today. Yeah, and the big trailer's out back. I see mm -hmm. he's got it out back. Uh, I don't know. But, and get all this extra So we got cabinet out. guys in here today? Yes, I think so. Hey guys, how are you? Good. Good guys. All right. Oh yeah, they're doing the cabinets. Ah, ha ha. And look what we have here. Yep. Yep, there it is. You got my text yeah. about the back yeah, panels. Yeah, we're gonna get that taken care of today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta okay. go side to side, go get it. I'll reimburse you for that panel. Okay. Okay. Something, yeah, no, that's probably the finished part now. Looks good. I went about the yeah, yeah, that's just a part of it, but that looks good, yeah. yeah. But like I said, don't do not do small pieces, do full size. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I'll reimburse yeah, you that's for the, the panel. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Panel. yeah, absolutely. It's, it takes a little bit more material, but yeah. it's worth it. So, yeah, and just say the receipt okay. on each one of them, and I'll, I'll reimburse you, okay? Yeah, because I think I bought one, and I just bought five and a half, and then I'll go and get them. They'll take yeah, two or three sheets. This one, for sure, they'll take a half of the sheet. Uh, the two yeah, probably a sheet per house, yeah. yeah. Uh, because we only have one more. What's that? Oh, also on this That's one. not in place. On this one, uh... Oh, the, where's the, uh... The, the pantry? Behind it, the other end, it's outside. But the, I was putting, trying to put them in place, and right back, we're running into the same problem. But this time, I was at the wall, and the wall, the wall. Instead of putting put it in step forward and step back, possibly wider. Oh, it does there. look like it's on the wrong side yeah. of the line. Oh. Out, there was a way we have to get a different cabinet. Yeah, if you get a 12-footer, I mean, uh, one footer here, you can place this one, and also this over here, you have to pretty, pretty out of here based on the on the dimensions on the other one. We're at three foot, and then that pipe is like we're literally outside, and this is where the fridge is supposed to go. So the water supply for this is going to be really close on the outside, and yeah. Outside yeah. Of well, so what I can possibly do is since we're going to order another, if you got to get it. Get a, a footer of this one, yeah, right here, and then that way it pumps us out a little bit this way. The water supply covers, and this is covered for the front. Yeah, and then we've got to get an upper to match that, right? You have to figure out what we got to do for because the upper. Well, let me think. Well, now the thing is that I don't know where you're gonna connect the supposed to be supposed to be the here, right? The no, power. no. 
right here. I think so. It's well, that ain't gonna work either. Yeah. Yeah, either of those. One either, of these aren't gonna work. <laughs> either or it's not gonna. We either have to push it all the way almost to here because I'm pretty sure this is the light switch. That's a light switch, yeah. Yeah, so the problem is now if we put the cabinet there, it's gonna be outside. So we'd have to move this. Obviously, we don't wanna move this. Mm -hmm. It's easier to move this because I could just put another cabinet here and just put that a little bit this way so it doesn't land on top of the cabinet. Yeah, so, I think that's the way to. That's probably borrow that if you don't mind. That's probably the way to do that. Well, but if we do, that's just gonna have to be covered. So we put what is that? 16, I think. That's okay. Okay, so so it'll be over here. We may just have to have the original. I I hate covering things up. Um, three foot, this is, you know, I was telling you, usually this is 12 foot three or 12 foot four, and that's, and that's what works, and it's worked forever. This is nine foot five, nine foot six, which is fine, and then three more feet would be 12 foot six, so all that's right. Uh, if we do 12 foot six, actually, we just need to move that, and we don't have to, we don't have to get it a new upper to go along with the, you know, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, at some point in time you got to stop covering yeah. and covering and fix and so it'd be easier just to fix that. Yeah, because we have to move, that's why we have to pipe it this way. Yeah. And then, like I said, we figured it out, the other house, the 18 goes here, 36 on top of yeah. the bridge, same thing, we're going to put the double here. And you got the same measurement within an inch or two up on yeah, each side of here. Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we have to order another cabinet because all of that has to work, but then the window depends on the mason. He could put it two or three inches right. in a different spot. See, this one looks way better than the one on the other side. Kind of like there are so many nuances that if one thing's off and everything else is yeah. correct, fix the one thing that's off instead of yeah. everything else. Yeah. So yeah, we'll move this. I don't have a pencil on me, but that's what I would do, circle it. I'll have Al, when I go that way, I'll talk to him and have him get with you and... Yeah, because I told him yeah. if you could just get the footage... We might have the 12 inch in the storage unit. I think we do. Yeah, the 12 footage. So <laughs> yeah. we could just get, like I was telling the footage, so we'd have to get the foot at the bottom, and then we'd have to get the top of the match. Yeah. So he said, I was just worried about getting the bottom stuff done, because I wasn't going to have the kind of top guys to come down. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Yeah, same as, yeah. We could just put that I like this. Head. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna go well. I like this a lot. Yeah, so now this one I haven't pretty set it up yet. I was just putting it there to so mm -hmm. get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if this is something you'd like to do, or we can switch that one. Only I would, end I think is, but but I, would I, put I really the 18 don't. 18 in the middle. Yeah, I really don't have a preference because I don't. I mean, it's gonna. Yeah. No, no. Everybody's gonna have a different preference. See now if I can move this, this one. Mm. Because that's the only thing that's folded itself. I'll put it that one in the middle. Yeah. You have to measure about three feet this way and have that sticking into the shelf. Yes, but yeah. I agree with you. So we do, you're right, three foot, that ends this and you're coming back. So I, I agree with you. That could go in the center unless it doesn't. Yeah, because my best bet right now would be to leave it on the edge. Okay. There because if I put it on this edge, you know, it could be still run to the same problem. Because we're right around, you know, right here. You know, if you put it on that end, you know, we're still to that. I, mean, I tell you what, I would prefer that on this end if it, if 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 you don't have to move a bunch right. of stuff. And here's why, because you're going to be cooking right here, refrigerator, cook, sink. So this is here instead of so far away. It's not a horrible thing, but I think it would be better right here. If if you can, after you work that measurement out, if you can put it over here and it doesn't mean that has to be moved, then let's put it on the left hand side. However, but you got to do what works too. Okay. So, Al, well, he's gonna take care of it all. I'm not gonna. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. And then those kind of like I said, cool. I'm just trying to hang out the best the most I can, put the stuff on the floor the most I can. So yeah. I and see what he, yeah, see what he says he can get you because we would like to go ahead and get the uh, the countertop guy here Monday yeah. or tomorrow. Yeah. Probably Monday. Yeah. All right. Okay. Work with Al on it, man. All right. Looks good, yeah, looks good. You guys are doing good, appreciate it a bunch. That's gonna look sharp with the extra. I like that, that extra, I like it, looks good.
Yep. Does, guy, uh, this, this, this guy work with you? Yeah. Might, uh, I might be arrested and let me think about this. I might have Al talk to you about having him just help clean up on some other stuff or something. Yeah, let me talk to Al. Where's, uh, I might, but I might get a hold of Valdo because he, yeah. he's always my favorite. He does a lot of good stuff for us. So I would always talk to him first and see if him and the girls want to come out and yeah. do that. Cause he, cool. Sounds good, man. We appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, all these extra cabinets kind of keep a mental list of what we got. We'll put it in the storage. Yeah, and that, you got it fixed over there. Yeah, and that way you know what we got. You know what I mean? You yeah. you know in your head, hey, we got a 15, a 27, a 12. You know? Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks. Now, that was interesting because there you are solving a problem. You know? I, think I know. I couldn't. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about is, but is, I got Al. It, every house is is a little bit different. Nothing's ever you know, exact. You just said it exactly the same. We get people who buyers who want things, and I'll use the terminology they complain or they mm -hmm. have wish list. Maybe that's the more polite. And we just we got to tell them, and this is basically what I tell them: there's a million items. Mm -hmm handmade items in here a million yeah literally <laughs> so uh, and there's so many switches and knobs and i'm not talking about those i'm just talking about mentally yeah. speaking switches or things and that to get it to come together is a small miracle yeah when and, you think about it because it's when you when you line them up they, they they look the same but when you get inside it's like a little bit different here like the wall you know, the, the wall was supposed to be, spot. you know, yeah. over just maybe, you know, an inch more. And yeah. that inch changes how the cabinets have to be everything, laid out. Yeah, everything changed on that yep. one half of the kitchen. Yeah. Now, what was, what's really cool about making changes as you go before that mm -hmm. was that downsizing that cabinet won't be a horrible thing. No. Because we got the drawers, the drawers in now. there. So yeah. it's funny how that worked out. Yeah. But it is. I love doing that's, this that's, that's That's fun when you, when you see the the problem being solved and worked out while you're while you're right there yeah it's like, and i'm fortunate i've got al he and al has done so much of that work himself mm -hmm. yep that he you know what i mean he steers yep. these guys and and use them he'll talk to me about it and i'll just ask him well what are you yeah you know, what's your fix and he's already got it figured out mm -hmm. he's we're again we have such a great group of people that yep. i am just a i'm kind of i've become a small part of it almost <laughs> I, I got to admit, it took me a while, but I think I like the stucco. I don't know why. See, but it, he it did these me, two, yeah. It that, took it, it took me a while, but it's like, you know what? I actually think I do like this one better. Yeah. You know? I think it's more uniform. Yeah. First couple of houses are, I'll use the word splotchier, thicker here, thinner here, thicker, thinner, etc. I think Chris, who did these two houses, it is more uniform. Yeah. But most people won't ever notice that stuff but we do every now and then get a buyer who notices that stuff yeah. and we go like yeah well it's it's the way it is we're not redoing the stucco on the house it's yep. kind of late for that yep so ah we actually look at this we got tape we got drywall joint compound going around nice nice yeah because this one kind of stood still for a couple weeks it is we've we've worked with the drywall people heavily on this one you know we, yep. you know we went through the story for a guy passed away and and they struggled pretty hard because he was such a main player and and you know we could have been difficult about it you know mm -hmm. thought about only about ourselves but um you know we're still people and yep. and having working with them is the right thing to do and uh, so yeah and look i mean they've done all they can they got yep. pe extra people here and it'll yeah, all they somehow, got quite the crew. It'll all be okay. I love those things. Those oh stilts. They were you ever tried to be on them? Yes, actually. It's, in college. <laughs> college in a six pack. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I tried it and I just uh of course I would not even begin to get to try it now. I would end up Oh, I'd end up broken on, bones. Yeah. Yeah, I'd end up on my butt. But yeah. it amazes me. They just like these guys are good. their feet, man. Al does that. He does he does soffits. He's done that. He's done soffits for years and years and years. You know, and but it's amazing they get out and move around on these rough, this rough yeah. terrain. They don't end up on their butts, broken bones, <laughs> or anything. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll leave them alone today. So, yep. yeah. 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 I don't see when we're, I got, anyway, I'm, I'm not, I need to stop scheduling when I'm out of here with you and, and just come back on Monday. Well, there we are for our Friday update. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week as we get even closer to having at least two of the houses ready for sale. Yeah, and you got us a, uh, another piece of land this week. Yes. So got another one to build. Let's, let's get another one next week. Yep. Uh, three a month. Three a month? Three a month. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Take care. Enjoy your weekend, everyone.